This is video number two in the Handlebars training course, Creating the Template. Before we can create a basic template using Handlebars, we're also going to create a JavaScript object. So those are going to be the two main things we do. So here is the very beginning of a website we're going to try and build. A website dedicated to the television series Game of Thrones. And if you're a fan of the book or the show, you'll know that uh, there are a lot of characters. And just getting started with the first character and just a few pieces of information, I realized, well, it's going to take a long time to do this. What you can see here is the HTML. I have an unordered list, and inside that list, which is called the characters list container, I have a list item, which is going to be, so I'm going to have a list item for each character. So I just got started uh, building that in the HTML, and I realized even for just a prototype, that's going to be just too much data buried in the HTML to, to make it maintainable, especially if I'm going to have more than one view. I may have a list of characters on one page, and then you can drill into a character to get more detailed information on the second page, but a lot of the same information. So once you get more than one view, um, it, it's going to be really nice to have that information not in the HTML, but be in one centralized location like in a, a JSON file or a JavaScript object or something else besides the HTML. So here's what we'll do is we'll start off uh, in the scripts.js file by building a variable uh, which will be an object and we'll call that variable cast and inside of that variable we'll have a property called characters and that will basically just be an array and inside that array will have objects and each object will be a character so the first property in the first object is going to be the name um, so there we can put the name of our first character John Snow and then we can put the short code which will be John dash snow very similar but we'll use that for the image and then we'll do the actor the house and the location. So that's our first object. And now what I'll do is I'll add a couple more. So now I have um, the first five characters in a JavaScript object. So again, it's really just a variable that's an object. The first property in that object is an array, and the name of that is characters. And then array is an array of objects, where each object is a character. Now what I want to do is build the handlebars template so what we can do here is, where we have our unordered list, let's remove that, that list item. And let's come down here and we'll create a script tag. And we'll give it an ID, call it character list container. And we'll give it a type, which will equal text slash x dash handlebars dash template. So I'll make this wider so we can see that whole thing that's going to be what handlebars will use to identify this as its template. So inside of there we'll paste in the list item. And now what we want to do is replace the actual data that's in this template with mappings to our object. So this first one, John-Snow, is going to correlate to the shortcode property. So I'll type that in. And then John Space Snow is going to be our name. And what I'm doing here is I'm using the, the curly brace syntax, which is, you know, these are called tag variables. And this is where mustache got its name. These curly braces, if you rotate them 90 degrees, they look like a mustache. Handlebars, of course, piggybacked off that, still using the same exact syntax. We'll replace Kit Harrington with the actor tag variable and then Stark with the house, and the last one will be location. All right, so that is you know the start of our template. That's basically all we need. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll learn how we can write some JavaScript to actually have this script, this template, uh, populate inside of the unordered list.